we've begun getting pretty good at using Bootstrap's basic grid. I think you can follow what I've done and innovate from there. Let me introduce you real quick to their media grid. So if we go to Twitter Bootstrap and check out their documentation. In fact, I'm going to pull up my own copy of their documentation here that I've saved for myself. Show you how that proves handy. So I've always got it here for this particular version of Twitter Bootstrap that I'm working with. It's now available with my development files. And I can go to Grid, and then below that there's Layouts, Type, and then Media. So going down to Media, we see that they use a Media Grid class to present images as thumbnails with some border around them and uh, a little bit of padding. And they show us their markup here with, uh, they're using an unordered list of class media grid and then each LI contains a linked thumbnail. And they've used placehold it as a place to go grab these thumbnails. I'm going to do the same thing. Let's go to this site and check it out. This is um, placehold.it and it's very handy because if I want to get an image of certain dimensions I can simply type in those dimensions. So let's say I want 300 by, in this case we use x, 200. That's going to give me an image that looks like this. It has its dimensions right there. So if I'm building a framework or a template for something that I want to flesh out later, then um, this is just so handy. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a link very much like this. And we're going to modify this then for our purposes in here. So I'm going to go to my code and I'm going to start a new row. I'm going to insert this right here after feature row 2. And in this case we don't actually need a row. We just need the media grid. So I can simply, my markup only needs to be the UL of class media grid and close that off and I'm going to comment that and media grid and now I start my list items list item I don't need a class here I just need a A which is going to give it the border effect so I'm going to simply do a placeholder link here and inside of here I'm going to then insert my placeholder image. And this will be an image tag and for its source we'll use that placehold it URL which will look just like this. I copied it from the address bar at placehold.it and now I'm just going to not spend time right now giving alternate text and so on. I'm just going to show you how this works real quickly here. So forgive the sloppiness as I just try to work through this quickly for you. We've got one list item with a link and a placeholder image. Let's see how that's going to work here. Refresh. Again, sorry for the pause while it loads those videos. It's the price of having the video embeds here. And I've got one of them. So that gives me one. I can do two more relatively easily. Okay, just copy that and paste it twice. Refresh. Now in this case, it's not fitting correctly. And that's because with Media Grid, we have 10 extra pixels of padding and border that we need to plan on. Because right here we've got 4 pixels of padding, to give that little bit of white space there, and 1 pixel of border around the edge. This adds 10 pixels altogether once we factor in the left and right plus the 20 pixels of gutter. And so we need to reduce our width by 10 pixels for each of these. So if we want 3 across we need to subtract another 10 pixels for that extra styling and change each of these to 290 pixels wide. Save that. Now refresh. And there it's working well. And let's say, just for good measure, that we'd like another row, this time with four thumbnails below that. So we can simply copy our media grid. Or, within that same media grid, 
And that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to copy these list items. I'm going to copy these and put another set below that. And because I don't really need to start a new unordered list, I can just continue the list. But I'm going to comment this and call it row of four thumbnails down below the row of three. Now if we want to get our width that we need to have a row of four, we can do this. Divide 960 by 4. That gives us 240. And then subtract 30 from that. That gives us 210. So I'm going to go over here and keep roughly the same proportion. So I'm going to do a 210 pixels wide over 140 pixel tall. I'm going to replace each of these next two values with 210 by 140. And then so that I can have four, I'm going to copy this last list item and all of its contents and paste it below. Save that. Go over and refresh. And there, our math worked out. Fits nicely. Really easy to throw together a media grid this way. So now that we've got some media laid out here, let's uh, go and create ourselves a custom style sheet so that we can begin the process of, of uh, providing some padding between these rows and add a few more custom styles whenever we want to. To make it easy to refer back to this part, I'm going to create that as a separate short video coming up next.